Okay, so our goal here is to solve for y, and really this is a one-step equation. Step back for a moment and think about really st simple one-steps, and I think you'll see the connections here. If you had something like 2 times y equals 10, here we know the answer is 5 because we use the inverse operations here, right? We have 2 times y, so we invert that by dividing by 2, right? Multiply by 2, now we divide by it. And do that on both sides. And what happens is we have 2 times y divided by 2, that's just y, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we can solve for this kind of expression by dividing. In fact, anything where we have a coefficient times a variable equals a number, we can use this strategy. And that is precisely what we have here. We have 2 thirds times y equals 4 fifths. So we have a coefficient, it's a fraction, but we can divide by this fraction on both sides, right? And we'll still get the same answer. When you divide by a fraction, though, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So here I'm just going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal to get my answer. 3 halves times 2 thirds is 6 over 6, it's just 1. And we have y, and on the right side we have 12 over 10. And this is our answer. We can reduce it, though, divided by we can divide both numerator and denominator by 2 and get 6 over 5. And that works, right? We can plug it back in and test it. You'll see 6 fifths times 2 thirds, right? If we do multiply that out, we do get 4 fifths. Now, one other thing to think about is you might see a different version of this problem. You might see it written like this, 2 times y over 3. But that is, in fact, the same thing as 2 over 3 times y. You can prove this by, well, you can demonstrate that they're equal by plugging values in for y, and you'll see that these two are the same. So if you see 2 times y over 3, you can quickly turn it to 2 thirds y, and then return back to our algorithm up here. Thanks.